Alrighty, so we have some really exciting news coming out of Kings Island, and just as I was recording this video, they dropped some really exciting news. Um, I don't know if it's actually exciting. I mean, it's exciting for the future, but Kings Island is losing one of its coasters. So the biggest speculation is which one of these coasters is being removed. I think almost everyone is on the bandwagon of Firehawk at this point. Um, I'm going to jump on that bandwagon. I actually was almost convinced that it was Drop Tower the other day. Um, and the reason I thought it was Drop Tower is that would provide a new midway where Drop Tower was located. And then they could have built the, um, the the Kings Island Giga with the front entrance coaster because we know Cedar Fair loves those front entrance coasters and Kings Island needs a reno of the front gate. So that's why I was really anticipating that. But now I'm definitely sold on Firehawk being the coaster that's going. In fact, I have a feeling that this might be going to another park in the chain. Um, maybe even Dorney Park? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get off that bandwagon right now. It's too early to even discuss. I, I, I'm not even sure actually this could be going to a park. I've heard it's actually quite the nightmare to run. and It's been having a lot of maintenance problems. So it might actually just be scrapped. The teaser... Um, Definitely has the color choices of Firehawk in it, like the flowers definitely relate to Firehawk's color scheme. So that would make sense. Kings Island is going to be making an announcement later this week on which coaster it is. And now it comes down to what coaster it's going to be that's being removed and which coaster is coming to Kings Island and when. A lot of people, especially Kings Island fans, have been suggesting 2020. 2020 is a really interesting year, as 2020 is the year that Cedar Point is supposed to be getting a massive coaster. Could both Ohio parks be getting massive coasters in 2020? Is that a good business marketing strategy? Would that not just be competition against each other and also one would be overshadowed? It's a very interesting topic of discussion, and I, for one, don't know where or what they would do in this circumstance. I, I just don't see both Ohio parks getting a coaster in 2020. But with the ride removal going on, most are leaning towards a 2020 Kings Island coaster. I mean, this park is pumping out coasters more than any other park now at this rate. They're going to be adding their fourth coaster, I believe, um, with uh, the whatever's coming in 2020, 2021, or 2022. And that's really interesting because this park doesn't always boast the biggest attendance increase when they add a coaster. So it's a very interesting business move. Does this park have big plans in the far future? Like, are they adding up these coasters for a big plan? I know this park is building dorms as well. So this is all really exciting stuff. Now, a lot of these, especially this blog post, are hinting towards a major attraction leaving Kings Island. Um, the only thing that has me kind of shook and confused is the wood chairs. Why would they go with wood chairs in this blog post and then also elaborate on the wood chairs in the blog post as well? Is it to throw enthusiasts off? We know that Cedar Fair likes to do that in their teasing campaign, i.e. the Giga on the Canada's Wonderland teasing poster. But the wood chairs definitely have me confuzzled. Uh, I, I mean, I really do not see the racer or racer being removed. Um, it's just such a classic and it's, to me, it's not at the end of its life. I know we, there's been a lot of speculation of it because of I, an alleged Fred Grubb being spotted near there. Um, but it's just very interesting. So we now know again that it's a coaster leaving. Um, but the air is eerily calm as we make a final, as we make final preparations for the ill-fated demise of one of our own. Now, this is what definitely, even before this, had me kind of thinking it was coaster. The rest in pieces, Kings Island, the pieces, plural, definitely insinuates that something's being taken apart in pieces and lots of. So to me, that definitely screamed coaster, but it also screams a steel coaster to me because in pieces, um, I don't know why. Just like I just picture a steel coaster in pieces, not necessarily a wood coaster. But I guess you could insinuate a wood coaster could be in pieces too. But I just it, to me, it screams a steel coaster. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Um, it's big. It's gone. So we know it's a large attraction. Um, and rest in peace, 2018 Kings Island. So this sign was accompanied by you know tombstones, funeral flower bouquets, and eleven wooden chairs. Again, I was really confused by that. The flower bouquets, um, a lot are suggesting actually we're suggesting that it's Firehawk as well. Um, speculation on social media and the park and enthusiast fan sites has been running wild. That is so true since the sign was spotted during the opening weekend of Halloween Haunt. 
As to what attraction could be leaving as of October 28th, most of the speculation centers around Vortex, Firehawk, Racer, Backlot Stunt Coaster, and Vertigo and Windseeker as the attraction that will be leaving. Very interesting ones because I personally haven't heard anything about Backlot Stunt Coaster um, being removed. I've heard mostly Windseeker. I think I've heard from like one or two people in Vertigo, but I've mostly, and, and v Vortex too, I've heard it, but I, I haven't heard it as a strong. I've heard mostly Firehawk, Racer, Windseeker, and then Drop Tower was starting to be spoken of again, and I was actually team Drop Tower for a bit just because of the front gate coaster. But it's all very interesting. I actually love the way they're kind of announcing like the removal of a ride. I find it really kind of like cute and it's very engaging. The community is so involved now and now everyone's really curious about what's happening at Kings Island, which is great marketing wise. And I mean, it's great enthusiast wise. It generates a lot of conversation um, and a lot of fun. It's, it's a lot of fun to speculate and anticipate. So I absolutely love it now. Firehawk, in my opinion, is definitely the choice attraction that is going to be removed. It just matches up with the fact that the dinosaurs just went extinct. Now they have this massive plot of land in the back portion of the, the park um, that isn't being used and, it, and can be utilized for a future attraction. And Firehawk just so happens to sit right next door to this Jurassic World um, that can be used for a much better attraction. And um, that back area of the park where Firehawk and Flight of Fear are lo is located is very kind of awkward in my opinion. So turning it into a much more elaborate um, Cedar Fair style midway just makes sense. And that whole area needs that kind of redevelopment, needs that whole upgrade um, to make it kind of a Cedar Fair kind of park. And it, it, to me, it just doesn't scream that at the moment. Um, sorry, I'm so tongue twisted. I've made like three videos today. Um, so I just really see Firehawk as being the attraction of choice to be removed. Dinosaurs Alive is a large plot of land. Now, the only thing that has me a bit confuzzled is when you look at this plot of land, does it scream Giga? To me, it screams Intamin Giga, but not B&M Giga. I'm not saying Kings Island or Cedar Fair is purchasing an Intamin or an Intamin Giga at that rate anytime soon, but... To me, this reminds me of kind of like I-305 kind of landscape or like land size and not anywhere close to Canada or Canada's Wonderland and Carolyn's land size for a gig, uh, b and Giga. What do you guys think? Does this land scream at B&M Giga to you? To me, it really doesn't. It screams almost like a compact layout. Um, not even that compact, but if you know what I mean, not like an out and back style coaster. Uh, even though it is a very large plot of land, but it's just very like round and very there instead of being out and back like a lot of B&M. So take with that what you will. Um, but I honestly, whew, I don't want to upset anyone, but a mock launch coaster, double mock launch coaster to me like would fit in this plot of land beautifully. Um, I know Kings Island really wants that Giga and they deserve that Giga and everyone is speculating a Giga, but there are other coaster options available before they go down the Giga route. Maybe they don't want a Giga that's better than Millennium Force right next door um, in the same state. But on that same argument, why was Banshee built? Um, I know a lot of people are very differed on what's better, Banshee or Raptor. I'm not going to get in on that, but Cedar Fair isn't. Um, shy to beat Cedar Point's records as proven, especially in recent years. So it doesn't necessarily uh, mean that Kings Island won't get a Giga, but it's very interesting what Kings Island is going to get in the next couple of years. Is Kings Island going to get this massive record breaking Giga coaster and outshine Carowinds and Cedar Point, or are they going to get something else? Um, Carowinds already has its record, so they can go, and uh, I don't know if Copperhead Strike broke any records. Um, correct me down below if I'm wrong, but they could go for the records on a mock double launch coaster. So that would be very interesting to see what Kings Island has up its sleeves moving forward. Whatever it is, it's large. They're removing a large coaster, a somewhat popular coaster from what I understand, to put in a new attraction. And whenever we see that, um, it's something large. So Canada's Wonderland removed their stand-up coaster and got a re world record-breaking dive coaster. It didn't happen right away, by the way, so I don't know the timeline for this new coaster coming. Anyways... I want to hear from you guys. Comment down below which ride you think is being removed. 
what coaster you think Kings Island is getting. And hopefully you guys liked this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.